We are halfway through the month that commemorates the lives and times of South Africa's first black president, known to us as Utata. In his 90th birthday celebration, Tata Nelson Mandela said it is in your hands to make a difference. As we continue to remember and reiterate his teachings, we would like you to strive to be part of the solution to challenges that we find ourselves faced with as a nation. My name is Pule Molebazi, taking you through the next half an hour of our informative episode. Earlier on this year, South Africa was facing what the UN Food and Nutrition Working Group deemed as the country's worst drought since 1992. Today, we'll look at how Voyom Tembu's invention is saving water and changing the lives of people in rural communities. <laughs> Water is one of the most vital natural resources. Most would say without it, there is no life. Vuyom Tembu and his business partner Tabom Dawu grew up visiting relatives in the villages and having to carry water for their grandmother was very unsettling for them. When I was growing up, going there with my partners, um, I would find my aunts uh, having to go and fetch water. So what we would do with the partners was that we would help out. We would go to go and carry water and deliver it to the home. So the trips of carrying those 20 liters were, 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 were quite too much for us. Seeing his community, the reality of not having close access to water and also how much water was wasted, Vuyo and his now business partner conceived a solution for his family and others. When we were about at high school level, me and my partner and we sat down and we down and we're like, how can we best improve this thing? How can we, you know, uh, have a way in which we can best deliver water at home? Walk the five, we didn't mind, walking the five kilometer journey to a reservoir to go and get water is pretty much standard for every person in many rural areas, if not plus five kilometers. And the idea basically started there. After conceiving the idea, they started acting on the inception plan. What we did was that we, we looked at the whole concept and that women who are headloading water, and they actually having problems with their spine and neck at the end of the day. And the people that actually collect water using the open top wheelbarrow sometimes use buckets. And there's a lot of spillage of water from that. So what we thought we should do, uh, and the concept came as a result of looking at that wheelbarrow, which has got three containers, 60 liters of water. And then we thought, how about if we were to come up with an idea of an enclosed uh, container that sits on top of the frame of a wheelbarrow, but not only have 60 liters, because 60 liters is quite comfortable. So we thought of playing around with 80 liters at first and eventually landed on 100 liters. So that's how the, con the concept basically came about. They came up with the name Virgin Creatives and a simple slogan, Say It, We Mold It. Their objective to bring clean water that can be stored up to three months in a 100 litre container was easily achieved and got them a lot of orders coming in. When you look at the containers that we use for collecting water, uh, the mouth is very small, You're looking at about five millimetres width. So we took ours and we made it 25 millimeters big. And what we also did or thought of is that if you were to dispense the water or to take out the water from the container, to make it easier as opposed to carrying the whole 20 liter and having to dispense it onto a pot or anything else, then we thought of putting a tap there on the rear end. So you've got a 25 millimeter wide opening for in the insertion of the water but the dispensing, the dispensing of the water as well, we've got the tap at the rear end. Now, with the arrangement of the wheelbarrow complete, the partners had to think of a suitable and strong enough material to hold their 100-litre wheelbarrow. The container that we're using is out of what we call as virgin plastic. So it's not material of a plastic that's been recycled or material of a container that was initially used for something else. Vuyo expands on explaining how their virgin plastic is less of a health risk. The containers they're using are mainly for carrying paint 
or chemicals. So those containers are actually built and designed for carrying chemicals. They are not tailor-made for water. So the container that we're using or the, the virgin plastic that we're using is a material that is solely meant for the carrying of water. So the difference between two where you would see it is if you were to store water on a 20 liter container that's for paint or any other thing the many other containers that we use in generally is that you will find the water after a couple of days that it has a thickish substance at the bottom those are contaminants from the bucket itself or the drum or the container itself so with the water we'll borrow the material that we're using the virgin plastic with the virgin plastic we're using you can actually store water for up to three months uh, without having any contamination Vuyo expanded from having just one partner to three business partners and increased his employees. Just like other legitimate companies, Virgin Creatives make sure to test all their products before putting them out to the public. We had a guy who is in the industry himself, the guy that manufactures the powder. He's the guy that actually, when we eventually sat with, he helped us with uh, making us understand that there's different types of plastics in the industry and made us understand this that this was most probably the most ideal type of plastic that we want to use. We tested it ourselves. He sent us to the different bodies or SABS, sent us to AMSA, which is a body that basically controls um, legislation around issues of virgin powder or virgin plastics. So we got a lot of information and from that we were able to be in a position to say we are about to launch a product. Stay tuned when we return from the commercial break we meet the beneficiaries of the water wheelbarrow invention who shares how this invention has improved their lives. This is Jam Sana, SABC News, Alice. Mzwande Lembe, SABC News, Doha, Qatar. Kuna tipping was SABC News, Alice. Diabo Zito, SABC News, Geneva, Switzerland. Nankimela Lossiziba, SABC News, Moscow, Russia. Sherman Bricebees, SABC News, New York. Craig Murray, SABC News, Stellenbosch. We bring the news back home. We keep the nation fully informed. Welcome back right here on SABC News. With water being an irreplaceable natural resource, let's look at how Voyom Tembu's water wheelbarrow invention has changed the way people in rural communities consume water. Take a look. Virgin Creatives was created as a solution for women and children in rural villages. Her day starts off by borrowing her neighbor's old wheelbarrow. <laughs> now a pensioner, Mama Matidiso Mohapi, owns a one-bedroom shack and cannot afford much. Without a tap in her yard, she has to fill up heavy buckets every day lifting from the one she uses to go collect water into the one she keeps in her home. She uses old 20-liter buckets to store up the water for daily use. Kaskubusa Hali, Mizia Sulu, 
Old and often complaining about body pain, Mama Mohapi finds herself in constant agony due to her daily routine of water collection. Using old, unreliable spilling buckets, Mama Mohapi and some members of a community have adapted to taking their laundry closer to the communal tap for their weekly rinse and wash. Presented with the new will barrel, Mama Mohapi's story will now turn for the better. Virgin Creatives gave her a new will barrel. She beamed with joy when showed how easy it would be to use. With an objective of helping women and needy families, Vuyo and his partner Tabang then accompanied Miss Mohapi home with a new wheelbarrow with a mission accomplished. And after the break, we'll look at how you at home can be part of the solution. Every drop counts and how you save each drop makes a difference. Talk unpacks healthy tips to help you to practice healthy living lifestyles. Now generally type 1 is found uh, mostly in children and young adults and with type 2 diabetes is found mainly in the older generation and also with an issue of obesity. Don't have second portions and then I brought this plate model to show that for both meals, your lunch, your dinner, half the plate should be vegetable. Within sports, we see the spectrum itself. Uh, most often we see minor head contact injuries, we call them. Right. But certainly in sports, the one that uh, a lot of attention is paid to is concussion. Concussion. Mm -hmm. You see, you've got something, boom, yeah. but it's uncontrolled. Whereas in soccer, when the guy hits the ball, it's controlled. His, his neck muscles are controlling it. And that's why they say, in, 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 for instance, in rugby, yeah. the training should be to improve your neck strength. For more on health, join your host, Dr. Selo Mudaong, every Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. What's wrong with Triple M? What is illegal here? Who is being defrauded here, Trevor? It is about the best interest of the uh, citizens of this country. But the citizens are the ones who are playing, uh, uh, who are members or participants in this. If you put in 15,000 rand, after 12 months you get 1.2 million rands. I mean, who wouldn't go for this? Watch Question Time with me, Mpo Tseidu, Monday to Thursday at 5.30 p.m. on the SABC News Channel. Good afternoon, you're with the news at one. Welcome to Lunchtime News Amplified. The selection of political parties by means of a lucky draw has been a common practice for the past 22 years. We take an in-depth look at top stories of the day and live crossings to our journalists on the scene. First time in our nation's history, 
that a woman will be a major party's nominee. Business news, sports update, and weather report. Hello and welcome to News Live. I'm Natasha Thorpe. Good to have you with us. For all things news, tune in to Midday Report, weekdays at 12 noon, only on the SABC News Channel. Welcome back to Wupilong. The water shortage crisis in South Africa is not a problem of the government alone. It is all of ours. How you use water in your everyday life affects the next person. So when you preserve this natural resource, you enable others to have access to it. Let's have a look at how local government have partnered with Vuyom Tembu to preserve water. <laughs> This man is one of many that are benefiting from the water wheelbarrow. Virgin Creatives is today a solid wheelbarrow making company in South Africa. They don't just make any wheelbarrows, they are the first to make a wheelbarrow that is a water container. Today they make up to a hundred orders per day, as it's simply increasing in its demand. Tabom Dawu explains how they got their first bulk of order. A friend of mine, uh, his father passed away, that was sometime last year, in June, July, if I remember very well. So when I went to the funeral day, fortunately the minister was there, and then uh, I approached her and then I asked, you know, if she can just give me a minute or two and said, okay, fine, uh, later after everything, she will give me some time. Then after they finished eating and all of that, then I put the product there. Luckily, I had it in my car because normally I would travel with it from places to places so that people can see. it. So luckily on that day, I had it in my car. So I just put it out there and I, you know, as soon as she came, uh, walked out of the dining hall where they were eating and she saw it and I looked uh, right in the eyes and as eyes started glowing uh, that is actually what I wanted to see from her when I saw her eyes lighting up then I know okay at least she's gonna be happy with the product and she fell in love with the product immediately and we discussed it and then she you know immediately wanted to place orders and asked how many units do we have and all of that so the relationship started from there with the Minister of Water and Sanitation on their side, the Virgin Creative guys knew that their vision will flourish even brighter. This is a, a universal product, you know. It, it, it can be well received, not only in South Africa, around the globe as well. So we want to push it as far as all these other African countries where there is water challenges. They must have this product. So as soon as we are done making sure that all South Africans are benefiting from the product, then we take it out. We are very much open for the outside market. After being impressed by the product, the Minister of Water and Sanitation, Nomvula Mokonyani, took the product to different rural villages herself. Here the Minister of Water and Sanitation takes the water wheelbarrows to Polokwane. We've identified strategically this area to demonstrate some of the interventions we are bringing to our communities in terms of water tanks, in terms of water storage capacity, in terms of uh, household support with regard to the wheelbarrows that uh, women will also be using rather than carrying water on their head. As they are kind act to celebrate Mandela Month, 
The guys went to visit expecting Lerato Sifordu. They introduced her to the water wheelbarrow and gifted her with a bright yellow wheelbarrow. Lerato explains the difference between her old wheelbarrow and this bright new wheelbarrow. Almost every day is that price or price because in Albana bring it. It really, it really made a difference because I gave her so much weight, and I think as buholo ba yon na doy liyan buholo kating kita ko na ko at least taki le once per day kita pumo like kita the next day. It really made a big difference because it's not too heavy like that one. With the household and small children, Lerata expresses how grateful she is for this one. What I really like about this one is that it's it's simple and it looks like a commodity at the same time the first I couldn't manage to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a which means that one a little bit of 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 a little and also the most trail it's not dangerous for bana because so it's like Vuyo and his team acknowledge the Department of Water and Sanitation for helping them help the helpless, especially those in rural areas. Regarding future plans for virgin creatives, Vuyo says that virgin plastic can even help preserve our trees and nature. We live in an era where uh, the hewing of trees or the cutting of trees is really detrimental to our health and very hazardous to our environment. So there are many places where virgin plastics can actually be explored uh, in terms of replacing the wood that's been chopped off. I mean. Socrates once said, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Virgin creatives prove the statement very true. We have come to the end of our show, but before I leave you, here are some of the ways you can help save water.